Deer Creek Audio, your trusted technical resource. In this video, we explore the various types of TRS cables that may be needed in a mini DSP Flex system using TRS connectors. We will show how to be sure you're getting proper signal transfer for your mini DSP Flex TRS. The information in this guide also applies to HyPEX Class D amplifiers and other equipment where TRS or XLR connectors are used. In general, TRS and XLR are balanced connectors, while RCA and TS connectors are single-ended. TS connectors have the ring shorted to the sleeve. When mixing balanced and single-ended inputs and outputs, it is important to get the proper wiring configuration to avoid unnecessary hum and noise. We discourage the use of adapters as they can cause performance and reliability issues. When connecting the Flex TRS to a balanced XLR input power amplifier, the cable is a straightforward balanced design with plus, minus, and shield connections. To connect an XLR source such as a CD player to a Flex with TRS inputs, the required configuration is the reverse of the previous example. Connecting your Flex TRS to a subwoofer that only has RCA single-ended inputs requires a properly configured TRS to RCA cable. When selecting your cable, be sure the negative signal line coming from the TRS connector is left open at the RCA connector. When connecting a single-ended RCA source to the Flex TRS, such as a phono preamp, you'll need to maintain proper shielding and grounding. For this, you'll need to use an RCA to TS cable. This wiring diagram shows the shield and ring shorted on the flex input, eliminating hum and noise. If you are connecting a single-ended RCA preamplifier or other source to an XLR balanced input power amplifier, your cable configuration needs to account for shielding and grounding. Note how in this diagram, pins 1 and 3 are shorted at the XLR male connector. Be sure to visit us at DeerCreekAudio.com for more resources, tech blogs, and product details. Keep watching our YouTube channel for more video releases.